to my channel today is the king sit up it's the first time of joining us thank you for clicking to this ensure you like please comment subscribe and share okay and if you're a returning subscriber thank you for your support now we want to continue on our series um the cash book now we have seen the single column cash book we have seen the cash book introduction we have also solved a question relating to cash book okay if you have not seen that video don't worry don't worry i will drop it up here i'll drop it in my description okay now i want to see another question on the two column or the double column cash book though we have seen the theoretical aspect check in the cash book introduction i'll also drop it up here or i'll drop it in my description so you watch that okay now we want to see a question relating to the double column cash book okay so now the question said write up the two column cash book from the following november one balance word forward cash 1015 naira bank 21,640 naira november 2 cash sales 6,015 naira november 3 took 500 naira out of cash till and paid it to the bank november 4 received check from ola 2,170 naira november 5 paid cash 600 naira for stamp november 6 received rates refund by check 720 naira November 8, bought goods for cash, 900 naira. November 10, redrew 2,500 naira from the bank for business use. November 12, paid wages in cash, 230 naira. November 14, paid motor expenses by check, 570 naira. November 17, paid insurance by check, 740 naira. November 19, cash drawings, 300 naira. November 20, cash sales, 20 naira. November 22, cash purchases, 13 naira. November 23, receive loan from Olatunji, 800 naira by check. November 25, banked cash, 80 naira. 27, sold goods for cash, 2000 naira. 29, paid wages by check, 16 naira. 30, paid for rates by check, 180. November 31, cash sales 1200 now we are asked to what prepare the two column or the double column cash book now let's do that so if we write here as two column cash book So if we have our date here, um, particulars, the folio, and the amount, date, okay, so if we have here as date, the particulars, the folio, the cash, and the bank. Also have dates here, the particulars, folio, the cash, and the bank. Okay? So, now let's solve, let's solve this. That is said, balance brought forward the cash 1050 and the bank 21,640. So we'll start with um, November 1st. Balance brought forward. The cash is 1050. Sorry. The cash 1050 and the bank is. 21,640. 21,640. Okay, so we'll start from there. The next one, November 2, cash sales. Now, once they made sales, which is cash, it will go what, to the debit side because the money is coming in. So, we'll have here second sales. How much? 6,000. 
50. Now, you should be very um, conversant and very articulate in this. Anything that consigns the check, we have said that in the introduction video, goes to the bank. But everything that is on cash remains in the cash column. Okay? So, sales who have recorded that now took 500 Naira out of cash till and paid to the bank. They took 500 Naira out of cash till and paid into the bank. Now, this is a contra entry. We explain the contra entry. So, what do we do? They say they took 500 out of cash till. So, cash is given out. Okay? So, we'll come here and write um, November. This is stored. Cash is given out. So, our particulars will be bank. How much is it? 500. Okay? Remember to put your country C contra entry. Now you come here, still with the verbal account, cash. It is paying to what bank? I say pay to bank. Bank is receiving it as what? Five hundred. Remember to put your folio, the folio as C to indicate contra entry. Okay. So we talked about that. The next one, November fourth, receive check from Ola. 2170. Now, since they said they received check, it means it will go to the bank. Receive. So we are debiting it. November 4, Ola gave us check. So it will be under the bank column. 2170. Okay. So the next one, paid cash, 600 naira for stamp. They paid cash, not bank. They paid cash, not check. So it will be on the cash column. But since it is payment, it is going out. So it will be credited. So it said paid cash. So we have November 5, paid cash, 600 naira. Sorry, it will be stamp. So it will be paid cash, 600 naira for stamp. So what will be here is stamp, 600 naira under the cash column. The next one. Receive rates refund. Received rates refund by check 720. Receive rates refund by checks by check 720. The previous rate that was received, it was what refunded but by check 720. So we are gonna write here on the sixth refund okay by check 720 so 720 that's through the bank so it's under the bank column okay the next one bought goods for cash 900 whenever i hear bought goods that's purchases purchases is goods bought for receipt so we have here on eight purchases 900 okay the next one november 10 withdrew 2500 naira from the bank for business use withdrew 2500 naira from the bank for business use now this is different from for um personal use now once it is business use it is still contra entry i said withdrew 25 from the bank we drew two five from the bank. It means the bank is giving it out, but it is still meant for the business. Okay, so the bank column will be credited because I said they withdrew it from the bank. So it is it was collected from the bank. The bank gave it out, but it still has. It wasn't used for personal, but still the business. So for um, ten, so it will not be cash. In particular, but bank is giving it out as 2500. Now, remember your C to indicate contra entry. Now, it comes here also. Then, uh, bank uh, cash is receiving that same money 2500. Okay, so the next one paid wages in cash 230 payment. So, right here, uh, to it wages. In cash to the it's cashed. The next one paid motor expenses by check 570. So come here 
by 14. Moto expenses by check. Check it will be under the bank column. 570. Okay. The next one paid insurance by check 740. So come here. 17 have insurance. It was paid by check 740. Okay, the next one, cash drawings. Now this one now is not a contra entry. Okay, so on the what 19 drawings. So they will draw it. So it is drawings of how much? 300. So the corresponding entry will go to the what the drawings account. Okay. So the next one, cash sales 20 naira. So come here. That's on the 20th. On the 20th sales. But under the cash column, how much? 20. Okay. The next one, cash purchases 30. Purchases, it is going out. So we have here 22. This is purchases. But under the cash column, okay? That is 30. Okay. The next one, received loan from Olatunji 800 by check. They receive loan. From Olatunji, so we're gonna record it here. We are receiving it, all right. Olatunji loan, okay. By what they say by check, so it is under the bank column 800. Okay, the next one banked cash 18 era. Banked cash, look at the English banked cash, banked cash. It means that the, the, the cash that they have was banked. So it was put in the bank. So if it was put in the bank, it means the bank will be credit, debited while the cash column will be what credited and it's still a, what, a contra entry. Okay? Because all, both of them will what reflect in this same word cash book. Okay? So we are going to start here. Since they say banked cash, it means cash is given out. So on the 20 what? Fifth. What would be in the particulars is cash. Sorry, bank. Bank. But it is the cash column that is given out now as what? 80. So the corresponding entry will now come here, 25th. Under the bank column as what? 80. Remember your C. Your C to indicate contra entry. Okay, the next one, sold goods for cash, 2000 So we'll just come here on the 27, write sales for cash, 2000 Okay, the next one, paid wages by check, 16 naira. Paid wages by check, 16 naira. So the paid, that's only 29 wages by check. So it's under bank, 16 naira. Okay. The next one, paid for rates by check, 180. So that is on the 30th, paid for rates by check, 180. Okay. Why the last one, cash sales, 1, 2. So uh, on the 31st, have sales again, cash, 1,200. Okay. So that's how to post it. Unless balance this account, we are going to um, calculate the debit and credit for um, both the cash and the bank. So let's start from the debit first. Let's know. Let's start from the debit, the cash, and the bank. Then also the credit, the cash, and the bank. So we can know which is greater than which and know which one that will have the balance. So we have for the debits on the cash, we have 1,050 plus 6,050 plus 2,5 plus 20 plus 2,000 plus 1,200 equals to 12,820. That's the debit for cash. Let's see debit for bank. We we'll have 21,640 plus 500 plus 2,170 plus 800 
plus 80. What do we have? 25,190. 25,190. Okay? So that is for the debit side. Now let's see the credit side for cash. We have 500 plus 600 plus 900 plus 230. 230 plus 330 plus 80. That's 2640. And for bank, we have 720 plus 25 plus 570 plus 740 plus 16 plus 180 we have 4726 so it means that the debit side for both cash and bank is greater than the credit side for both cash and bank so let's not get the balance carried down which will be cash in bank and cash at hand so the total of this now has shown remember these two is supposed to have the same total okay so the total for cash is 12,820 and the total for bank is 25,190 okay so from this now we are going to deduct this from this so we have 12,820 minus 2,640 is equal to 10,180 so that becomes our my 31st balance carry down 10,180 so that when you add it together it becomes 12,820 okay the next one is 25,190 minus 4,726 so the balance is 20,464 so when you add it together it becomes 25,190 so by December 1st our balance brought down which would be both cash in hand and cash at bank is this balance so it will be 10,180 and cash at bank as 20,464 okay so thank you very much make sure you like comment share subscribe any question you have drop it in the comment section thank you very much